Welcome to CW 5.7. Today we'll be doing word problems in our chapter. So first, you're going to write this formula down. A is equal to A sub 0, or some people say A naught, times E to the RT. And you're going to want to 3D box this. This is going to be the most important formula we have for this particular unit. So write that down. Couple things here. This is your initial value. Right here is your final value. E is just a number, that's about 2.71828. R is your rate. And then T is your time. So let's look at the first question. The graph in the figure shows the U.S. population in millions for five selected years from 1970 through 2010. In 1970, the U.S. population was 203.3. By 2010, it had grown to 308.7. A. Find an exponential growth function that models the data. So immediately we have a couple of values here. 203.3, 308.7. So already for A, I know that my initial was 203.3 million people and I ended at 308.7 million people. And that's gonna be times E to the R. And time, think about this, from 1970 to 2010, 40 years have passed, so we're gonna put 40 right there. Now we're gonna solve for R. So we're gonna divide both sides by 203.3. So E, to the 40R, that's equal to 203, sorry, 308.7 over 203.3. And now we're going to convert that to a natural log. That would be natural log 308.7 over 203.3 is equal to 40R. We divide by 40, so there we have it. R is natural log 308.7 over 203.3, all divided by 40. Now that looks pretty weird, so what we're going to do is use a calculator. So open up your calculator like that, and we're going to find that number. So fraction, and notice how I need a natural log with another fraction, and it was 308.7 divided by 203.3, and all that was divided by 40. So you get a pretty small number. Now what you're going to do is store it. So on your touch screen, you see that STO triangle? You hit that right there. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, look on the touch screen and the bottom left corner. So I hit it multiple times. You want that arrow to come out. In case you can't see it, look right here, the apps button. It's right above it. And we're gonna pick a letter. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use R because that's the letter we're working with. So alpha and eight. So what I just did is I told the calculator to store that in R. So now whenever I press R, it's going to call that exact value, and it's there forever. That's great. Now let's go back. For A, it says find the function. So once I've done that, I'm going to put a triangle over R to signify that we stored it. So that's our symbol in class to show that we put it in a calculator. And then I can write the function. So A is equal to 203.3 E triangle R T. So right there is the function that's going to model our situation here. So for part B, it says by which year will the U.S. population reach 335 million? So 335 should equal 203.3 times E 
triangle R T. Now you got to remember that triangle R, that's a constant. That's no longer a variable. That's in our calculator. So we'll treat it like a constant. So let's solve for T. We'll divide by 203.3. .3. And this should look pretty familiar. E to the RT, that's equal to 335 over 203.3. .3. Let's change it to a log. So natural log of 335, 203.3. .3. That's equal to triangle RT. We're going to divide by triangle R. So now we go back to our calculator. Let's clear that. So a fraction bar, natural log, 335 over 203.3, .3. divide that by R. And there it is, 47.83 years. Now the question is, by which year will the U.S. population reach 335 million? So if it was currently in 1970, we're going to add about 48 years, and that's going to be 2018. There's our answer. So now for our next example. Carbon dating. Use the fact that after 5,715 years, a given amount of carbon-14 will decay to half the original amount to find the exponential decay model for carbon-14. So this seems pretty weird. All you're gonna do is rewrite the exact same formula I gave you at the beginning. And you're gonna start there. It gave you a couple of important facts. It told you that after 5,715 years, you have decayed to half the original amount. Which means we know a couple important facts. We don't know how much we started with. We don't know the rate. I do know time. But the final is actually half the original. So I can write half a sub zero. Which is convenient because now I can cross it out on both sides of the equation because you can divide it out. So now I'm left with one half is equal to e to the r times 5,715. Now convert that to a log. So natural log one half, that's equal to 5,715 r. And there we have it. r is natural log of one half over 5,715. And we're going to want to triangle that and put that in our calculator. Let's go to our calculator. Fraction, natural log of a half, divided by 5,715. Get a really tiny number and store that in R. So there's our stored value. So now the question said, we gotta find the model. So the model is gonna be A, is equal to the initial multiplied by e to the triangle RT. Now that might seem like we didn't do anything, but we have r, so that's why we can actually write that. So now we go to b. This is where we actually use the formula. So it gives you a year, 1947. It says the analysis indicated that the scroll wrappings contained 76% of their original carbon-14. Estimate the age of the scrolls. So what we're going to do is actually use this rate we already had. So grab that formula. We found that there was 76% of the original. So 0.76 of the original. That's equal to the original times E, the triangle RT. Get rid of your A's. So 0.76 equals E triangle RT. And then we proceed like regular. Natural log of 0.76 equals triangle RT divided by the triangle. So T must be natural log of 0.76 divided by R. 
So now we're going to go to our calculator, type it in, fraction, natural log 0.76, divide that by R, there it is, 2262.73. 2,262.73 years old. And we are done.